you doing here? I left you a message on your voicemail. Which I didn't get, obviously. You didn't sign your statement. Silly me. Well, you better come in. Um, is your husband about? No, that's a funny question. It's just that... You'd like to meet him? No, it's just that sometimes I prefer it if there was somebody else around. Why? We get accused of all sorts. Like what? I think you know what I mean. Well, I'm sure I won't accuse you of anything. We're on the same side, aren't we? You sure about that? seem a little nervous, Sergeant Smith. No, it's, it's just been a long day, so if you could, uh... You'd like me to sign it? Yeah. Well, you know what? I might have to read it again. Why? Just to make sure. I don't want to put my name to anything I don't agree with. You wave it in front of me, I sign it without reading it. Yeah, OK, fine. I understand. Go ahead. Do you like it? Actually, I prefer the post with that tennis bird scratching her bum, but... You are joking, aren't you? Oh, you spotted that. Well done. I'm gonna have a drink. Do you want one, seeing as you're off duty? No, thanks. Look, I really haven't got time for this, so... If you would just read and sign your statement, I'd appreciate it. So you can hurry back to your empty flat? Don't start that again. Look, you've got no idea what I've got planned for tonight. Hot day, tell me. You're very good at winding people up, aren't you? Am I winding you up? No, but I think you're trying to. And why would I do that? Look, we've made an arrest and we need to charge the fella, so we need your statement. Oh, that makes me sound very important. Just let me get that drink. I'll be right back. I'm not sure I want to do this anymore. I'm sorry, do you want to run that past me again? I'm getting cold feet. They stole your car, they pulled a knife on you and they put a bloke in the hospital. Does any of that warm them up at all? Look, you don't understand. It's this court business. I just don't want to appear in court. It's not me. Well, I'm sure Mr Larson will buy you a nice new outfit if that's what you're worried about. You're quite chippy, aren't you? I've got money and you haven't and you won't stop going on about it. Me? I don't care. I don't care about any of it. All I'm interested in is doing my job, and right now you're stopping me. I don't understand why. Why is that? What, what you think is smart, that is clever? I just don't understand. I've changed my mind about being involved. That's allowed. Yeah, but why is that? It's because you're hiding something, and you've been hiding something all day. So come on, I want to know. What were you doing in Sunday? Visiting a friend. It's there in my statement. Who? Where do they live? If you weren't hiding something, then you'd sign it. I'm not hiding anything. I just don't want to be involved in a court case. Do you want to know something? I couldn't give a toss what you want to do. We're going to go and get one of the other victims to help us out. Somebody that actually cares, not some spoiled phony like you. Excuse me? Yeah, you're nothing, love. No one. All you've done is that you've married well, that's all. So don't give yourself airs and graces, because you're no better than me. Oh, really? Yeah. And all of this, it's not even yours. You're just a spoiled, pampered little pet. How dare you? I'm gonna make a complaint. Go ahead, make a complaint. You're just lucky that I'm not doing it for wasting police time. Oh, don't threaten me. You don't know what you're getting into. I'm not getting into anything. Aren't you? No. Next time on The Bill. Well, while you were over there, she didn't offer anything else up, did she? What if somebody used something from your not-too-distant past? There's a reason for you not to see your kid. It seems to me that the person with the most serious personal problems in this case is not Ben Perkins at all, it is you. And I actually think you're rather jealous of your brother. Next tonight, who said they had to hate each other? I like him. Let's see how it goes, eh? <laughs> I really like them. Well done. Oh, he's a very nice. Oh, they're very nice. Oh, yeah. Then at 10, it's Tarrington TV, and later, after the news, Jonathan Dimbleby is joined by special guests, including Sting, Gordon Brown and Kofi Annan, as they discuss making poverty history at the G8 Summit at Glen Eagles.